Hi, I'm Robert Wessels, the founder of Energia. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how easy it is to connect your MSP430 launchpad to the internet using the CC3000 Wi-Fi booster pack and Energia. Together with the Energia CC3000 library and just a few lines of code, you can send and receive information to and from the internet in minutes. In this tutorial, we will be requesting a text file from a web server and display the contents of that text file in the serial monitor. Let's get started. First connect the CC3000 booster pack to the MSB430 launchpad. Now that we have the CC3000 connected, let's power it up the launchpad by connecting the USB cable to the PC. For this tutorial, we will use the simple web client example that is included in the Energia CC3000 Simple Link Wi-Fi library. Let's open the example by choosing File, Simple Link Wi-Fi, Simple Web Client. Let's have a closer look at the sketch. All Energia sketches have a setup and a loop. Setup is where we initialize libraries and configure pins and do other things that only need to happen once. Loop is where we will spend most of our time, and this is where we will communicate with the web server. Before we take a closer look at the setup and loop, let's look at the code at the beginning of the sketch. The CC3000 booster pack communicates with the linespad over SBI, so we include the SBI library. Then we include the CC3000 library itself. In the setup code, we need to tell the CC3000 which Wi-Fi network to connect to and what the password for that network is. We do this by defining two variables, network name and password. In this case, our network is called Energia and the password is Launchpad. The web server variable is the name of the web server we want to connect to and request the file from. In this case, energia.nu. Since we are a client connecting to a server, we also need a client object that we will use later to send requests to the web server and receive replies to our request. Think of the client object as a mini web browser. Recreate the client using the type Wi-Fi client that is part of the CC3000 library and name it client. Now that we have defined our variables and object, let's have a closer look at the setup portion of our sketch. We will be using the serial monitor to print the content of the text file that we will request from the web server and print diagnostic information to help us determine what is happening while we run the sketch. We initialize the serial library with serial begin. The number between the brackets is the speed at which we send and receive bytes called baud rate. In this case, we set it to 115,200. Next, we print diagnostic information to let us know that we are about to connect to the Wi-Fi network. Then we start the connection with Wi-Fi.begin and give it the network name and password that we defined at the top of the sketch. Once the CC3000 has connected, we print that the connection was successful and wait 5 seconds for an IP address to be assigned. Once an IP address has been assigned, the CC3000 is ready to connect to the web server and request the text file. That is all for the setup part of the sketch. Now let's work on requesting the file from the web server and reading the response in the loop portion of the sketch. To connect to the energia.nu web server, we say client.connect and give it the server name and the port number to connect to. Most web servers, including the energia.nu web server, listen for connections on port 80, so we will use 80 as the port number. If the connection was successful, we are ready to request the text file from the web server. Requests are sent to the web server using the client's print and print line functions. The first print line tells the web server which file we want to get and what protocol to use. Web servers handle requests using a language called Hypertext Transfer Protocol, or HTTP. We specify this in the request line so that the web server knows what language our request is in. The second line tells the web server which host we are requesting the file from. In this case, we are requesting the file from energia.nu. The third and final line of our request tells the web server to close the connection after the request has been completed. That is all we need to send a request for a text file to a web server. Now all we need is a few lines of code to read the response from the web server. First, we need to find out if the web server responded to our request, so we ask if there is data available using client.available. If there was a response, 
And as long as there is data available, we read the available data character by character using client.read and print the characters to the serial monitor using serial.write. If everything goes well, then we should see the content of the text file that we requested from the innergia.nu web server printed in the serial monitor. Let's run the sketch and see what the web server has to tell us. The sketch has already been loaded into the launchpad. To start the program, we need to press the reset button. The launchpad attempts to connect to the wireless network. And we are connected to the Wi-Fi network and are waiting for an IP address from the network. The connection to the web server is started. We are connected, and there we go. The web server tells us that our Wi-Fi rocks. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this brief tutorial.